Hey, what's up, Arlenators? I am here with another video. Another video, guys, and uh, we are checking out Bill Burr, Epidemic of Gold Digging Whores. <laughs> so let's get right into it. Why would, why wouldn't, if, 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 Look at Kobe. Look at the shit he's going through right now. Oh, man. <laughs> divorce. Wife's going to get 70 million bucks. Never hit a layup in her life. Can anybody explain these divorce settlements? Can anybody make sense of these fucking things? Tiger Woods' wife, $250 million. He's a babysitter with a quarter of a billion fucking dollars. <laughs> Bill Burr, I've never seen Bill Burr. This is my first time making a video on Bill Burr, and I'm glad that I'm reacting to this. It's kind of true when you think about it. I mean, you have these women who marry these rich men, and if a man slips up in any way and they end up divorcing that woman or the woman divorcing them, all of a sudden, these girls, these women, get like a quarter of a million, maybe sometimes almost a billion dollars just because they're married to a rich person. That's just absolutely insane. Like, <laughs> it's insane. Like, just because, like, someone cheat on you doesn't mean you deserve a, a couple million dollars. I'm just saying. You know, I understand that you should get some of the assets, you know, because you contributed to that marriage probably monetarily, but you're telling me you should benefit that much monetary gain just because of a divorce? It's crazy. It's not justifiable, especially if you didn't do as much work as they did or earn the same amount of income. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. fuck, he cheated on it. Great, the relationship's over right there. COVID cheated, right? Shouldn't that relationship been over right then? Why did she hang around like some jaded cop for three years trying to get her fucking pension? Right? Get that ten years in? <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's too harsh. That shit bothers me, man. Dude, there is an epidemic of gold digging whores in this country. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so quiet in here? Damn, I don't get it. What is it? Is it women? Do you think I'm calling you? I'm not calling any woman here a whore, okay? So don't pull back. That, that's not fair, okay? If you brought up white beaters, I would I like pull back. I get it. This guy's hitting women. They need to be stopped. We got to understand that gold digging whores are the white beaters for men. Ooh! Yeah. Ooh! Except we don't have that Rihanna lumped up photo in the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he telling the truth about that? That's hilarious, bro. <laughs> just imagine. It is kind of true. Like, when stupid or bad things happen to a dude, for the most part, you're going to laugh. You're not going to, like, you're not going to feel bad about it. 
I, there's some truth to his jokes, of course. You think if a guy removed a woman's titty and threw it in the dryer, anybody would be joking about it the next day? The entire country would grind to a halt. There'd be a moment of silence. The NFL would have some special colored headband everybody had to wear for an entire month. The most effeminate color they could possibly come up with. All my heroes are going down. Arnold Schwarzenegger, another great man. Another great man. Taken down by that gold digging whore of a man he's got. And I'm not, I'm not saying he's not a piece of shit for doing what he did. It was a piece of shit move. But how come only he got chastised? What about the maid? Why was she called the maid? The, that entire story. She was never called a whore, ever. It just boggles my mind. She knew his wife, first name basis. Played with their kids, fucked her husband in their own goddamn bed. That's right down the checklist. First ballot Hall of Fame whore. Right there. Cool. Never. Why do you think she hooked up with them? Because of that 1987 flat top he's still rocking? The giant space between his teeth, I could put this mic cord through? Well, maybe it's all that kindergarten cop money laying around the goddamn bedroom. No, it's awful. It's a horrific thing to see as a guy, watching guys go through that shit, you know? And then there's no, there's no sort of examination of it. They just, ah, he's an idiot. Hey, ah, stupid. That guy's stupid. If that guy's stupid, what the fuck am I, right? <laughs> Does it even make sense? <clears throat> Why would you do that? Why would you accomplish all that and then fuck it up? Hooking up with one of the ugliest human beings I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Not saying I'm a prize, I'm just saying, you know? There's gotta be something beyond that, right? You know what I think it is? I think it comes down to the way he talks. You know? <laughs> that dude should be unloading trucks in Transylvania. <laughs> that should be that should have been the height of his success. Because he's a great man. He had the balls to move to America. Became famous for lifting weights. I lift weights, nobody gives a shit. He lifts weights. Ah, 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 becomes super famous. Did he rest on his laurels? No. Next challenge. I'm gonna become an actor despite the fact that nobody can really understand me. <laughs> Against all odds, he starts making movies. Get down, there's a bomb. Get out of there. <laughs> it's like one of the biggest blockbusters. <laughs> that was funny. Stars of all time. What are you going to do next, Arnie? I think I'm Manny or Kennedy. There's no fucking way you can do that. Bam, he does it. Sherry on top. I'm running for governor of a state I can't even pronounce. And he wins the election. <laughs> Why wouldn't this guy think he couldn't bang his maid in his own bed and get away with it? This dude has been in the zone for over four decades. <laughs> four decades, nothing but net. Bang a maid in my own bed, dude, that's a layup. Are you serious? I had a hit movie with a midget. I don't even need a condom. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> And then what happens? The smoke clears. Then all these trolls come out of the woodwork and start judging this great man. All these fatties, these fucking old guys who never got any with their jowls. <laughs> Coming on TV, absolutely reprehensible behavior. <laughs> what kind of a public sermon? His, his legacy is crowded. <laughs> <laughs> He's telling the truth. All these beta cucks and beta, like, mod, d beta dudes come out and try to defend it. It's so hilarious. Say, oh, no, you can't do that. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> I need to watch more of this guy. Like, they have any idea what it's like to be tempted at that level, right? Like, they have groupies as they waddle out to their mercury tracer. Parked on the other side of a dumpster. Really? You're beating him off? This guy, he's not a great man anymore. Terminator doesn't count. Is that what the fuck you're telling me? Because he fucked Alice? Really? He's still not a great man because he did that. Then that's, the whole thing's over? 
Anybody here think they could move to Austria, learn the language, become famous for working out, <coughs> then be a movie star, then marry into their royalty and hold public office? How many lifetimes would you need? I'm on my third attempt at Rosetta Stone Spanish. I, how can I judge these guys? I can barely handle the temptations of Facebook. I'm gonna judge Tiger Woods. I golf, I don't walk off the 18th hole and there's a busload of Scandinavian women waiting to fuck my brains out. Sorry, ladies, gotta go home to the wife, right? Now it kills me. And there's no help out there for guys. There isn't. There's nothing out there to help you handle becoming rich and famous. There's nothing to prepare you for that, for that platoon of whores that's gonna form on the horizon, right? Like Braveheart, faces painted, skirts off, run down the hill, they jump on your dick in front of your wife. They don't give a shit. There's not even a handbook out there. I saw one article written about it on, time, on the cover of Time magazine. It said, why do so many rich, famous, and powerful men act like absolute pigs, right? And the article was actually written by a woman. That's like me writing a book, the third trimester, and what to expect. I mean, you're going to feel a pressure. How the hell would I know? You don't want to hear that from me, right? Then why is this woman telling me what it's like to have a dick? That makes no sense. You have no idea what it's like to have a dick. 24-7. Do it, do it. Fuck it, do it. That's what it's saying. Do it, do it. Yeah, do it. That's how we survived as a species. Every man in here is programmed to fuck 85% of the women in this room. Right? Yeah, we are. Do it, do it, fuck it, do it, you know? It's just that you won't. That's the only reason why we don't, you know? That's not you keeping your dick in check, you know? Some guy at, at Home Depot working there, he wants to fuck just as many women as a celebrity, right? But he, he can't do it because whores don't care about lumber, right? <laughs> <coughs> but the second he hits the fucking lottery, all of a sudden, you know, that do it, do it, fuck it, do it, you know? That wasn't affecting his life, and all of a sudden these whores show up. I'll do it. I'm sucking. <laughs> He's kind of telling the truth. It's like when you're nothing, girls kind of don't flock around you, you know. And then when you are something, these these girls are just out. Of, they come out of no. They they manifest out of nowhere. I am serious. I, I mean, I, of course, I'm not like on a level of like a celebrity or a. Um, I don't know, Will Smith, I don't know, I'm not like a celebrity or big or whatever, but just from having a YouTube channel and having subscribers and uh, some views and some money from it, and people saw how I live, people, I'm telling you, the same girls that would never talk to me, hit me up in DMs saying, hey, can you help me with my YouTube channel, hey, we should hang out, we should do this. Girls with boy, whole boyfriends would hit me up and say, hey, I want to come over and hang out with you and watch a movie. And I'm like, nah, uh, I'm talking to this girl or I'm doing this. Like, I am telling you, like, literally, I don't think you guys understand. Like, if you're a dude and you've never, like, experienced, like, girls just, like, when you're in that type of position, when you're getting in that position, you'll realize that it annoys you a little bit, like, when I was working at, like, jobs where I didn't make as much or I didn't have more incomes, I would always look at these girls and say, oh, I want that, I want that, I want to fuck them, I want this, I want that. And as soon as, like, I started focusing on myself and focusing on what I needed to do and what I wanted to do to improve myself, these girls out of nowhere came around. Girls that I never thought would ever come in my life. They would never want to talk to me came around I'm like where the fuck did you come from <laughs> like it's like it's crazy because me I have a pretty strong mind me like you, a girl can't just be like oh I want to do this and do that with you and it, it won't phase me but I imagine for a bunch of like beta fucking cucks like as soon as they see a piece of pussy they go insane so I, I kind of get what Bill Burr is saying here Somebody's got to step up, all right? I'm not even blaming horse, really. <laughs> Guys, we're fucking idiots. What are we doing? Why are we working so hard and then giving it all away to some chick who did three shifts at a, at a fucking Hooters? You know? <laughs> They're fucking bums. 
sitting there with fucking Dorito dust and their cleavage, walking around with hundreds of millions of dollars. I'm sick of that shit. That's what the law says. Hundred years ago, I could beat you with a fucking mop handle. I'd be like, all right, that's what the law says. Look like it's right. No, it's not real. And all this shit's going down, and we don't. We, we're not doing anything. What are we doing? Same old shit. Sitting around watching Shark Week. All right. Watching shit about poisonous snakes half a world away, just filling your head up with all this useless information. What to do if you come face to face with a Bengal tiger? Don't look at it, don't look away. Slowly back up as you push your friend forward. All right? All this useless information, yet hanging between your legs is this thing that could crumble your entire empire seven minutes or less. Don't know a fucking thing about it. Even worse, you think it's your friend. Yeah, you know why? Cause you're sick. You're sick like a dreamer. You know? <clears throat> Dick believes. It's like a motivational speaker. I don't give a shit what question you ask it. It's always like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it sounds like a plan. Exit strategy. <laughs> he's kind of telling the truth with that. I know it's a joke, but there's some truth to a lot of things he's saying. <laughs> Later, we'll be fine. Where's your dick when you get caught, right? Then it's just slumped over. Like, yeah, hey, I thought it was a good idea. To know that, dude. Your dick, if your dick was a third base coach, it wouldn't hold anybody up. It'd just be fucking waving people around. Everybody, go in standing up. You got it. You got it. Oh shit, here she comes. Fly, fly, fly. All right, you guys were awesome. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you. Oh man, that was funny. Uh, I thought it was a pretty good video. I didn't expect it to be that insane. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check out my merch, my music, and a bunch of other things I have on this channel. And thank you so much, and peace.